Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, uh, we, uh, we're going to do our 30 days challenge. Uh, sorry about the waiting, I had to do some preparation you know, for this. It's actually a pretty good big project. Okay, uh, we're on to our day one. Uh, we get a lot of requests on uh, you know, on the channel lately uh, asking how to deploy ION SFU. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Oh, by the way, my name's Jason. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Uh, I do content space around WebRTC. Okay, I will show you everything I know. All right, so let's get started. Firstly, uh, we need to go to uh, Lindo. Okay, I choose to, to uh, use them because I, I've, as you see, I got a few uh, services running from them. Uh, I have pre-made a server already because it takes time for me to fork my domain over. So to do that is pretty simple. Uh, I will leave you a link down down below uh, that uh, a referral link that you get some um, free credit. I think it's hundred or two hundred that you get to spend within three months. Okay. Um, yeah, like you don't need to leave a credit card or anything. You just get that credit and you can use it up. If you like it, you can top up. If you don't, then you know forget about it. All right. To create a node, uh, if you use Digital Ocean or whatever, um, you probably know how to do that already. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna choose Ubuntu. I'm not going to make it because I already made one, uh, but I will show you what you do, okay? So go Ubuntu and a region, wherever you are, okay? Um, I think I, I chose Singapore for my um, instance, uh, for where I am, okay? So for other people, uh, these these servers in Europe, uh, Asia, you know, India, Australia, and, you know, quite a few in, um, you know, the American, uh, America as well. So, you know, you choose whatever one you want. And in here, choose whatever you want you want. Okay, recommend it. I think um, if you use it in production or something, you probably want to get, get start with the 20. Okay, because I'm showing you this, I'm going to use $5 and I'm going to remove it like straight after this video. So uh, I think it's recommended. Uh, the more expensive, the better. It really depends on your needs. Okay, and then you label it, you know, you call it so you know what it is and have a password and then create. And it will install Ubuntu for you. Okay. So next, we need to SSH into our um, newly newly created node or server. I already have it here, so um, that that is mine. Okay. So what I'll do is I log in when it's ready. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that again. I think I write my password wrong. Too many passwords. Just so you know, uh, what, uh, this IP where I got it from, it's from here, all right? It's this server I'm going into, okay? Okay, next, what well, first first thing we need to do is we need to do a uh, APT update. You should really do an upgrade as well, but I'm not going to do that because that's just wasting your time. But for you, it's recommended, you know, do, do an up, upgrade on a fresh install of Ubuntu. Okay, secondly, we're going to install our um, HTTP server, which is... Caddy. <clears throat> the reason why I want to show you this is one, I'm a, I'm a Golang fan and uh, Caddy is written 100% with Go and also you get SSL out of the box and we're going to use a reverse proxy to do this, to do this deployment so it just simple, simplifies everything. Um, <clears throat> for those of you have tried to deploy this IONS if you already, uh, you probably find difficulty the hardest part is the SSL certificates, okay? The method I'm about to show you, it's going to be really, really easy, okay? Because uh, all this um, it does it for you out of the box, okay? Enough talks, let's continue. All right, firstly, we'll follow this instruction, okay? How we install this. I'll leave the links down below so you can, like, refer to it, okay? And we need to do this one. Basically, we're adding the, uh, the repo, you know, for the software for to install caddy okay it's actually a really simple um process if you know what you're doing obviously if you don't know you'd be pulling your hair out for this that's why i chose you know to show you because i when i when i did it first time it was hard believe me and i, I know quite well you know with networking and all this i've done this for years and i still have difficulty you know with the ssl all right let's wait for that again and we're going to install this and we're going to be done okay uh, when we're ready all right let's install our caddy and we can test it out 
the domain I forward it to um, the server is one of my um, uh, it's an upcoming project for a personal project okay but there's nothing up yet so we're just gonna use for this okay it's cloudrtc.co.nz uh, I, I am from New Zealand so that's why I have .co.nz okay as you see we've got our HTTP server running up and running already okay and it's unsecure right now okay so we're gonna go and do the secure um, SSL we do we do um, make sure we get the SSL done first and then we're going to do the uh, what do you call it uh, deploy the IONSFU and then we're going to reverse proxy it then, that way all right now our HTTP TDP is up and running okay I'll get your coffee ready it will be a while you know um, doing the um, SSL just kidding it's only going to take a few few moments okay what we need to do is we need to go and edit this um, caddy file okay what we're going to do okay let's go back to our terminal and do it as an instruction okay i'm using nano but you can use vim or whatever you know you like um as a text editor okay we'll go into this caddy file all right and we just follow the instruction we re we replace this ad port with our domain oh this internet is driving me crazy cloud rtc.co.nz all right done and we just go exit it's control x okay and then yes and save okay and the next command just copy and paste i like these documentation don't they they're yeah, just awesome you know it tells you what to do and it shows everything reload that okay uh without doubt okay this should become https refresh and let's wait okay i think we need to do restart because I had this problem before okay be can please consider uh, become my patreon okay and then once you once you become a patreon you can actually request what you want to learn and so I can get a better internet <laughs> just kidding all right let's try this out again okay all right i'm, I'm gonna pause this because i think the list encrypt it takes a little bit of time I, i'm sure this this works okay i'm just gonna pause it okay and okay uh, as you see now it works i haven't done anything okay i just paused it and just waited like uh, i think it was like five ten minutes it shouldn't do that if you if you got um you know a better server and stuff i think i chose the wrong um location and it's just not really responsive okay now um this thing's ht it's uh, secure okay we can check the certificate okay it's trusted okay and with just little work okay um it's all working all right now uh, we're gonna what we're gonna do next is um okay now caddy is in, uh, installed okay let's go and um i'm gonna show you um this way you compile on the server but really um you, you could compile on your local computer and then put it on uh your um what do you call it your server but we'll, we'll install it in uh, uh what do you call it we'll install go and we'll compile um in um and what do you call it in, in our server okay compile the io ionsfu okay we'll just follow the instruction to install go go lang hold on let's go to our directory and we're going to download this guy here we just copy and paste these okay uh we are installing 1.52 that's fine because uh, i think the minimum requires like 13 uh so we, we we should be good with this okay we just do all that all right we're installing when it's ready looks like singapore is not a good choice is it after all maybe next time we'll go with australia or um, the us is probably a better choice it really depends where you are though i suppose if you're in asia or somewhere or asia pacific singapore should be fine normally but i don't know why today is like extra slow all right i'm going to pause this don't want to waste your time and watching the screen flashing in front of you all right after all that let's do the next step there we okay i changed the permission and then we move it to there there's a bit of stuff to do isn't there copy that paste it cool and the next thing here we go here we're going to nano this guy i think you know if the server is re uh, responsive uh, this thing should only take like you know 10 minutes max but i think we've taken way too long you know doing this one more last step okay let's go in here 
and we're going to add this in there all right paste that in that's basically the path of go okay get out of there well i must say we're almost there okay one more thing uh, source the profile that means it's reloading um the profile in linux okay one one thing i find really interesting is you know with when you're working with web rtc you really need to know a lot you know uh, networking uh, you know you name it you got to know it otherwise uh you won't even run it okay let's check if we got our go oops well go is working so i think it's dash version we're just going to check make sure it's installed okay go is funny i think it's without the dash yeah, like that okay we're done go is done so next job we will go to our github uh pion ion sfu okay we're gonna go and grab the source okay all right so firstly we need to grab this guy we want to https okay uh let's make sure we are now directory and we don't put this in a crazy place okay cool so we go git clone i'm pretty sure git is out of out of the box we don't need to install it pretty sure i could be wrong but there we go yep cool it is out of the box all right almost there okay we've downloaded it okay and the command we interested we want a json rpc version okay it's this this guy here uh we just build it for now we won't run it okay oh sorry but get into the directory if you say otherwise this doesn't mean anything okay let's go into the directory oh, in sfu come on oh. okay finally <clears throat> okay now we paste that command we just copied which is this guy here go build uh, blah blah enter and that should build our um, binary or our main all right building 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 uh, now it's downloading the the what do you call it the libraries that uh, ionsfu uses it's actually finished i think because this normally is real quick uh, the problem is it's not refreshing to us that's why it's showing really slow but it's uh, normally only takes a few moments okay all right almost there the next command well, let's copy it first we'll just run it make sure we build it properly okay uh, okay cool let's run it make sure we build it and it runs okay <laughs> when, it, when he's ready okay looks like it's successfully um uh what do you call it build it okay and the port we want to forward is 7000 okay let's get out of here close that all right next thing we need to do uh we're getting there we're getting there is we need to find a reverse proxy for web sockets okay which is this line here okay all we need to do is we put this this guy into the uh caddy file and we re reboot and we should be there okay i'm going to save time what i'm going to do is um I'm going to open a text editor. I'm going to paste this stuff in there, okay? And I'm going to change the port. You won't see this, but anyway, uh, it doesn't mean anything right now. You will see it on the screen in a sec. Okay, so we're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our caddy file. Where are we? Here we go. We're going to go back to here. Okay, nano. Paste. Get in there. All right okay what we need to do because we don't want anything else okay except for this proxy because we're not going to serve a site you know from here because i normally recommend you use uh, something like netlify you know to serve your front end uh you don't need to you know host it yourself it's free anyway so and the speed is you know i'm quite happy with the speed with netlify okay now finally it's moving Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take comment these out. Okay, we're not going to use them. So, might as well comment them out. Okay, we'll just put a hash. Okay, we comment the, the, what do you call it, the web server. If you want to use it, then don't comment it out. File server, we don't need. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, within the braces, oh, oh, let's put it on top, eh, so it looks better. Oh, this is really, really slow. I'm sorry. Uh, I should have used a different server. 
but Linlo is really good normally. Uh, I don't know why. It's probably my internet connection as well. It's peak, peak time right now. So, okay, let's place the parts we put it in. Okay, here we go. Okay, basically there's web sockets. Okay, we want to upgrade the, uh, what you call it? Uh, the upgrade, heater hit upgrade for a web socket. Okay, and then a reverse proxy to local host 7000. Okay, that's what that, that is doing. And yes, all right, we should be done. And we're going to restart this thing again. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if I can find the command. Okay, let's not worry about that, eh? Go to here. It's this command we want. Reload. Take that out. Paste that in. Reload. Once we reload, uh, that website should be gone uh, because we've we got rid of the um, what you call it, the web page. Okay, take that. All right, we should be done. Okay, then one more thing. The reverse proxy is done. That means um, what we need to do is we need to go and uh, pick up the start up the SFU. Okay. What we're going to do is, I'll see if I still got the command available, I think I should. Okay, so we go dot main dash c config toml, okay. Spin it up, alright, it's up. Okay, now I'm going to show, I'm going to test my um, Ion SFU app, okay. I've done a premium starting kit on that, uh, which is a full on, um, what do you call it, uh, application. Okay, I can show, I can show you that as well. Okay, what we need to do is we go to our address here. We change it to a live because we are we are on HTTPS, so it's WSS. Okay, and we do we do not need the port anymore because we've forwarded to the cloud rtc.co.nz. Okay, and save. And without doubt, this should work. Okay, let's go and kick this up. Yarn start. Uh, this is a Next.js app. Okay, as I said before, it's a premium uh, starting kit. It's got everything you need for a conference app. Okay, that's the address. Let's hit it up on our browser. Local host 3000. Okay. Let's check this out. My name. Your name. Uh, Tess. Call this. Okay. And let's see the log, okay? If we uh, have, um, what do you call it, connected or not, it will tell us. See, it looks good. Cool. Okay. And let's publish this. Remove that. Let's test this out. Okay, that's the camera. Sorry about that. I always forget that one, eh? So we go share link. Okay, share it with your body. Okay, and go here. Second pair. Here we go. <coughs> that's the pairs, okay? Let's see on the third one, eh? Because we're a little bit slow, okay? You see it uh, because the server's not correct. Uh, it's, you know, little lag. But we are there, okay? See me, and I can enlarge him. Okay, and this guy as well. Uh, let's share a uh, what you call it? Share a whiteboard. Okay, here we go. Whiteboard, and it's a little laggy. Uh, I can assure you it works because there we go. Uh, so it's really important, you know, where you choose to have your server. You like when you host this type of stuff, because obviously, you know, <laughs> we have, we chose the wrong thing. You know, it's not doing what it you know it's not responsive at all <clears throat> okay I should have chosen uh, like Japan or something see it definitely works you know it's all there okay and here we go we just deploy a live um, ION SFU um, server okay that's how you do it really easy one more thing I I'll leave you leave that as your project okay you what you need to do next is you need to write a little service script Okay, so your your SFU kicks up every time you reboot. Okay, so yeah, this is the premium app. Okay, you can mute, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. You know, you can turn your camera off, turn it back on, you know, so on. Okay, so that that is the. Please do have a look at it if you're interested. You know, without not not wanting to build all this because this thing took me a couple of weeks to build. Okay, and the all these also media soup version as well. Uh, it's practically the same thing, okay? So we're live, okay? We're using the live um, SFU now, okay? Um, because, remember, we have changed this. It's not local host anymore, okay? All right, thanks for watching, and thanks be to be part of this uh, 30 days challenge. And I'm really sorry. This has been taking a lot longer than what it should do. Um, 
and thanks very much and we'll see you tomorrow